you know, a guy in Britain, Tommy Robinson, everybody for years was screaming abuse at me. Why did I not support Tommy Robinson? Because he's made videos saying, I hate the right wing. I am liberal. I believe in multiculturalism. I believe in immigration, as long as it's not Muslims. I believe in this, that, and the next thing. Abortion. Homosexuality. I believe in gay marriage. I fight for gay marriage. The reason I am against Islam, and I'm quoting directly, I am against Islam because it impinges on people's rights and uh, gay marriage was one of the rights he mentioned and several other ones uh, and all this. Why would I unify with somebody like that? Why would you? And I know millions of people did. Millions of people sold the jerseys, as we say. You know, they all they all dropped their, their um, standards because here was a guy, he was shouting and bawling about Islam, <clears throat> so we must follow him. Even if that means he leads us down the road to abortion, mass immigration, multiculturalism, gay rights, gay marriage, abortion, all of that. doesn't matter. He's saying things against Islam. Because let me tell you what I... Islam doesn't have abortion. Islam doesn't have gay marriage. Islam doesn't have gay rights. Islam doesn't have 72 genders. Do you get where I'm coming from? All of these things that I've mentioned there have been inflicted upon us by our own people, by our own politicians, by our own liberals, by our own neocons, by those who are so corrupt they couldn't lie in bed straight of our skin colour and of our religious and ethno background. That's who's done it to us, not the Muslims. The Muslims have blown us up, but considering we went to their countries and killed millions of them by carpet bombing and all sorts of stuff, it's hardly a wonder they've struck back. So let's, let's get some perspective in this. We offer our services to other groups and in return they uh, more or less sign up to a Templar ethos. And what is that ethos? One very simple thing. This comes first. God comes first. Then we will help you with your computer systems. Then we will help you with your PR. Then we will help you with linking you up to people all over the world where you have no chance of ever getting those contacts. We have them. And we will give you them. But first, you must absolutely undertake to promote the Christian faith first and foremost above all other things. You must never have anything to do with liberalism or anything to do with atheism or anything to do with any of these other modern notions. That you must be, even at the top level, a Christian organisation. You don't have to go out in the streets singing psalms and singing praise Jesus, no. But the ethos of your leadership must be solidly Christian. If you can do that, we as Templars will open up the world to you as an organisation. We will give you contacts that you could never dream you would have. Contacts at the higher echelons of government, the higher echelons of churches. That's it. But if you cannot sign up to that, and some people can't, we take no more to do with you. I saw you wriggle, and I've never seen you wriggle before. <laughs> what did I wriggle off? I know, I know. Yeah, he kept, when he was praying for me. Yeah, he kept pinning you down. Um, to commit that you were a Christian and you were with him. Now, I think you should be, and I think you need to heart to heart with Danny. But my question is, why are you with him? Because he's an atheist. Yeah, I'm an atheist. I, I was brought up, brought up and raised as a Catholic. And I'll be honest, I don't believe a word of Catholicism. I was brought up, brought up and raised as a Catholic. And I'll be honest, I don't believe a word of Catholicism. 